family and friends arrived at the Carter's small hometown church for a final outpouring of love for the former first lady. Give us this day. The private funeral was held at Maranatha Baptist Church, where Rosalind and Jimmy Carter were cherished members of the congregation. They'd been married for 77 years when Mrs. Carter died last week at the age of 96. A tearful pastor, Tony Loudon, called her the greatest first lady. Our first lady excelled them all. The 99-year-old former president also attended, as did the couple's extended family who remembered the Carters' extraordinary marriage. Dad got used to mom disagreeing with him <laughs> because she was really good at it. Uh, and she became a partner in the true sense of the word, where they had equal footing. The Carters left their mark on Plains, Georgia, with a population of nearly 600 people. Rosalind's death is deeply felt. What did it mean for you to be here today? Uh, it means a lot to be asked to come out here today. I just want to show respect for the Carter family. As First Lady from 1977 to 1981, she was her husband's closest advisor and then became a political force herself, traveling the world to help fight disease and famine. But this small town was home base. The Carter family trailed her casket to her final resting place on the grounds of the first couple's home where her husband still lives. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Plains, Georgia.